Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In a previous video we unboxed this digital microscope and tested it on a circuit board and some tiny components. But today we're taking it a step further. Can this microscope actually help us with live micro soldering? Let's find out. Before we start, let me quickly go over the setup. This is the add-on star 8210, which I got from AliExpress for 85 euros delivered. It has a built-in screen, 10 inches, adjustable zoom, and decent lighting. I've set it up to give me a clear top-down view of my work area. Let's see if it's practical for real soldering work. In today's demonstration, I'll be using this hot air station from RF4, which I also got from AliExpress, and this Yeha 936. I will be working with a distance of approximately 15 centimeters from the microscope lens. All right, let's begin with the small capacitor. First, I have applied a bit of flux. Now let's see how well I can remove and replace it looking through the microscope. I will be using precision tweezers. I've set the hot air station to 380 degrees Celsius with 80% airflow. The capacitor comes off very easily and I'm able to replace it back onto the pads, no problem. I will now remove the capacitor. I want to show you how it looks like in real life, size-wise. Under the microscope, I've got that tiny capacitor on my finger. You can see how small it is compared to my fingerprints. Truthfully, without that microscope, I would have no chance to rework that component. Since that turned out so well, let's try a more challenging component, like an IC. This is a QFP and 48 pins. Again, I've got the hot air station set to 380 degrees Celsius with 80% airspeed. After a few seconds of heating it up, the IC comes off the board. Depending on the situation, you might want to wick up the manufacturer's solder and replace it with some leaded solder to make it easier to replace the component. For this demonstration, I'm just going to replace the IC back on the original solder. Under the microscope, I can line up the pins and reflow the solder. Using some IPA, we'll just clean the flux off and we can then do an inspection and see how everything lined up. I will check all four sides and make sure there are no bridges on the pins. Everything's looking good. He has a top down view of the pins, no bridges. I'm quite happy with that. So is this digital microscope useful for micro soldering? I'd say yes, especially for small SMD work, but you just need to get used to looking at the screen while your hands are doing the work. If you already do fine soldering, this could be a great tool to improve your accuracy. What do you think? Would you use this microscope for micro soldering? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. Remember there's always a fix, and we'll see you in the next one.